How's everyone doing? Tonight is going to be the Academy Awards, the 90th Academy Awards, the Oscars. Uh, first off, let me know if you're going to watch the Oscars and let me know what you think of my predictions and who you think will win and who you want to win, which isn't always the same thing. But I'm just going to go over my predictions and I'm just going to go over the main categories as well. And let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first off, who do I think is going to win the best actor in a leading role? And uh, that would be uh, the nominees are uh, Timothy Chalamet from Call Me By Your Name, Daniel Day-Lewis with uh, Phantom Thread, Daniel Kalua from uh, Get Out, Gary Oldman from Darkest Hour, and Denzel Washington from uh, Roman J. Esquire, or Roman J. Israel Esquire. And I think, hands down, Gary Oldman will win. He's a phenomenal actor. He's one of my, Daniel Day-Lewis is also one of my favorite modern actors along with Gary Oldman. But Gary Oldman has done so many incredible roles. I recently watched a movie called Chattahoochee, which his performance in there was Oscar worthy in my opinion. But the transformation uh, that he did for The Darkest Hour is just incredible. And the performance was amazing. I think Gary Oldman will win. And that's who I want to see win. And I also want to say, I know a lot of people aren't really into um, the Oscars, Academy Awards, and all that kind of stuff. I think it's politics. And I agree, especially the past couple of years, and I'm sure this year will be too with the Me Too movement. Um, but, and I can understand, you know, that's a big platform, so they want to utilize it to its full extent. But at the same time, I, I think a lot of people watch movies to get away from all the politics and everything going on, the stresses in the world. Uh, but I understand social injustices and things like that are very important. Um, but I'm hoping it's not going to be too over the top of the political aspect because I love the pageantry of it and I love the history of cinema, which is why I watch and I enjoy watching. I love film in general. Um, I digress though. I just wanted to, you know, I know some people are into it because of that, uh, especially the past few years. I mean, it's always been kind of political, but uh, it seems like more so recently. All right, so that was uh, the best actor in a leading role. Best Actor in a Supporting Role, the nominees are Willem Dafoe in The Florida Project. Um, big fan of Willem Dafoe as well, but uh, I, I don't really think he should have been nominated for that one. Uh, Woody Harrelson, which is like, there's two people nominated for um, Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, which was a phenomenal film. Uh, Woody Harrelson and Sam Rockwell are both nominated. Uh, Richard Jenkins, Jenkins for uh, Shape of Water and Christopher Plummer for All the Money in the World. Um, yeah, you know what, I, I, I'm really, I love Woody Harrelson, but Sam Rockwell, I think, just where he ends up at the beginning of the movie to where he is at the end of the movie, um, I just, I love that. I, I definitely think, and you believe his character. I'm a big fan of Sam Rockwell as well. Um, I really like Moon. Uh, to Live and Die in L.A., by the way, with uh, Willem Dafoe as the nihilistic counterfeiter, one of my favorite roles. He's done so many amazing films. Shadow of the Vampire as well. I thought that was a super underrated one, but... Sam Rockwell, I think, will win. In um, I, you know, I could it could go a different few ways, but I, I think Sam Rockwell will win, and I think he deserves to win. That's who I want to see win. All right, the best actress in a leading role. The nominees are Sally Hawkins for The Shape of Water, really strong performance, but Frances McDormand for Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Who I, actually she was in a, uh, actually Chattahoochee as well, which I mentioned with Gary Oldman. Uh, but Frances McDormand should absolutely hands down win. We can stop it right there. Margot Robbie was good in I, Tanya. Um, Sorry's Ronan. I always mess up her name from uh, Lady Bird. Uh, Meryl Streep from The Post. Meryl Streep, you've had enough. You've had it. I mean, <laughs> great actress, no doubt. But you've had enough of this. Let other people eat. Uh, Frances McDormand, hands down. That performance was so intense. It was just palpable. I just love it. You really related to the character. Uh, and some of the her reactions caught, kind of caught me off guard, but I loved it. Um, Frances McDormand should win. I think, you know, that's who deserves to win as well. Uh, that would be my choice. Uh, best actress in a supporting role. You know what? I, I really enjoyed Mudbound, uh, but I don't know if Mary J. Blige should have been nominated. Um, again, I feel like this for a lot of different ones. Like, I never thought Melissa McCarthy should have been nominated for Bridesmaids. I never thought Jonah Hill should have been nominated for Moneyball. That was the same year, by the way. There's a lot of times where I just don't think some of these people should be nominated. Um, I like Mary J. Blige as an actress and singer, but um, Allison Janney, I, Tanya, bang, game over right there. I think she deserves to win. I think she will win. Uh, that would be my choice for sure. Uh, Leslie uh, Manville for Phantom Thread. Laurie Metcalf for Lady Bird. 
Um, I think Lori Metcalf would be the only other one, like the second choice. I love Octavia Spencer too. She's nominated for The Shape of Water. Uh, really good actress. Uh, Lori Metcalf, I could kind of see sneaking in there, but I'm going to go with Allison Janney and I, Tanya. Uh, Lori uh, Metcalf's one was a little bit more subdued, a little bit more dramatic. Allison Janney's was over the top, very intense. I'm going to go with Allison Janney right there. Really good performance from her. Um, and our next up would be. <laughs> I'm going through all the different uh, categories right here on the website. Best directing. Uh, there's uh, nominees are uh, Christopher Nolan for Dunkirk, um, which has phenomenal cinematography. I think that should win for the cinematography. Side note: uh, Jordan Peele for Get Out, which amazing there. I love the writing. I love that was uh, definitely one that had a lot of social commentary. I would think Get Out was probably the most popular movie of 2017, uh, just for all the buzz, all the hype, the social commentary, getting people talking. Um, and it was a movie that came out earlier in the year, uh, so it still maintained a lot of that, uh, you know, power. Uh, yeah, so uh, Jordan Peele for Get Out, uh, Greta Gerwig for Lady Bird, which is, you know, from acting to, uh, you know, directing now. She's very talented. Um, uh, next up would be uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, P.T. Anderson. Phenomenal. I love when he works with Daniel Day-Lewis and nominated for Phantom Thread. And then um, Guillermo del Toro for The Shape of Water. Let me know what your favorite Guillermo del Toro movie is. For me, it's The Devil's Backbone. Uh, but I think Guillermo del Toro will win, and I think he should win for uh, The Shape of Water. I think he's a phenomenal... I think all these directors, even Greta Gerwig, is, she's showing her chops there with Lady Bird. Uh, but I think you have some really good nominees here, uh, especially uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, Guillermo del Toro, and Christopher Nolan. Uh, just some giants right there. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Guillermo del Toro will win, and that would be my choice as well. I think uh, this is going to be one of the few times where my choices align with who I think will win, because a lot of times the Academy doesn't necessarily go with how I would go. Um, but I think this time it's it's going to align for a lot of the things. Now, um, I'm actually sh really shocked that um, uh, Boss Baby was nominated for uh, Best Animated Movie, which... Some that again, I think uh, Coco has a good chance to win right there for uh, the best animated movie. Uh, yeah, uh, loving Vincent too, but uh, Coco I think is going to be that was another really a uh, popular one from uh, 2017. But all right, let's get into the best picture, which I believe there's nine nominees this year. Uh, Call Me by Your Name, uh, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Get Out, Lady Bird, Phantom Thread, The Post, The Shape of Water, and uh, Three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Um, I th actually think this is a, a really tough one. One of the more difficult choices in uh, recent years for uh, Best Picture. Um, I don't think, personally, I would automatically throw out Lady Bird and Call Me By Your Name. Just me personally. Even Dunkirk, I think, a phenomenal cinematography for a war film. Uh, but I just don't know if it would have enough emphasis, enough character development either. Uh, just not... I just wouldn't consider it a Best Picture winner. Uh, Darkest Hour definitely is the post as well. It seems like something right up the Academy's alley. Uh, Shape of Water, I, I would, I'd be happy to see that. Um, I, I would love to see Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, too. Uh, Phantom Thread, I could kind of see. But I think I think what's going to happen is going to be uh, Get Out. And I'm okay if Get Out wins. I would probably choose, if it was up to me... I prefer three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. That would be my favorite out of uh, this category here of their nominees. I would probably maybe change a few nominees personally. Um, and I definitely would like to see more uh, relevance with, uh, you know, horror, sci-fi, and, you know, genres like that. But I think Get Out will win, but I would prefer to see three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri personally. But there you go. Those are my predictions as far as who I think will win and who I want to win. Let me know if you're going to watch the 90th Academy Awards, the Oscars tonight, uh, what you think of my choices, my predictions, as well as who I want to see win. Uh, what are your predictions and who do you want to see win as well? And do you think there should have been other nominees, other uh, you know choices? Let me know. Leave me a comment or video response down below. And let me know what you think of all the politics too because I'm sure there's going to be some of that. Um, and the hosting and all that kind of good stuff. I'm, I'm probably going to do a reaction video afterwards or maybe the next day or tomorrow too. But um, let me know and hope everybody's doing well. Take care.